Hello, how's it going? I'm Chris, and this is 3D Studio Max 2020. If you've never used it before, it's hardly surprising, considering it only came out a couple of days ago with one of the most underwhelming lists of features that I've ever seen. However, one of the features it does have is a new chamfer tool. And as you know, I like to make spaceships and robots. Well, robots predominantly. But I like spaceships too. So, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new chamfer tool and the old chamfer tool, okay? So, just because I'm nice. So, what I'm doing is I'm just quickly making a box for us to do our stuff on. Convert to editable poly. And all I'm going to do is just... You don't have to do this, by the way. You could have done this, you know, in the whilst I was doing... You, you get the point, anyway. Hit F4. Okay, bring that in so I've got some interesting spaces like that like that. Okay, I'm just making some shapes basically is what I'm saying here, yeah? So I bring that in and then practice panels, so I'm going to go in like that then maybe in like that and then up like that. Okay, so there we go. That's everything ever in the world for panels. And I'll tell you what, I'll make another oops, I'll make another one here, another one here. Okay, so panels Okay, Autodesk, Autodesk, Autodesk. If you say it three times in a mirror, three thousand dollars goes missing. Right, like that. Okay, so here we are. This is our big test object that we can do all our testing on. Okay, so if you couldn't excited. So, as you'll probably know, and if you don't, well, fair enough. Right, double click on here. That gets me my complete loop all the way around. And if I was to chamfer. In the past, in the old days, I'd have to do this, you see, and just chamfer my model manually to get this kind of shape that I want, yeah? Or, you know, I could use the little settings box on it. There we go, you see, and just adjust it any way I see fit, just like that, okay? Now, obviously, because we live in the future, where everyone drives around in spaceships, we don't have to do that anymore. So, what I'm going to do instead is I am going to just go down here to my uh, modifier list and just press C until the word chamfer appears. There it is. Okay, and you can see already that in its keenness to work, it's decided to throw a chamfer straight in for us, okay? With one segments like that. Now we can obviously increase our segments to make it a bit more curvy. Um, we could increase the amount, you see, like that and we can do things like adjust the end bias if we want to see which doesn't do very much at the minute because you know it's going all the way around our object but uh, we'll come to that in a minute don't worry anyway another option we've got here is that we can change the depth so we can have it bulging out which is something we've not managed to have before you see but that is quite a useful little feature there and what we can do, if I can just hold my own excitement back just for a second there, is we can make a new preset. So, you know, if I just save my current stack as a preset and give it a suitable name like bulges out uh, bit. Okay. So now what I can do is I could, you know, go back into my edit poly stack and let's say I've got you know something else that I'd quite like to bulge out a bit like that so I'm gonna just grab here and then I can go back in my chamfer tool so there we go there's my chamfer you see and now oh I can just go in here and get my bulges out a bit okay and just where is it is it this one was that the save button I can never remember there you go apply it okay so it's applied it now to that one as well isn't that marvelous Okay, now we're going to have a look at how it was affected by corners. So I'm just going to convert to edit bar poly. Okay, and just come in here. Now I do like this, no matter how scintillatingly sarcastic I'm being. But I do want to kind of plod you around this and show you some of the things we can do. So let's say I want to chamfer this. Uh, so I'll go to my chamfer tool. There we go. And you can see there we've got that lovely little triangle just appeared there. Okay, that's where it's hit the corner. So let's 
see I'm going to increase my segments and increase my amount okay now you've seen how I can save my thing which is kind of handy dandy now what I can do is I can change my end bias like this okay so you can see that I can kind of make it fit quite nicely and we've got some options here for mitring so we can go for you know the quads and the tries and uniforms but I'm going to keep that uniform now another useful thing I can do is I can limit the effect of a one or I can go to inset I quite like this okay because insetting basically allows me to put this handy little limit around my chamfers now obviously it's not so useful here because I've already got the mitring doing the job for me but you can do that that's kinda nice and add extra polys to it too now then another one of the main things that I find this useful for if I could just convert this down to editable poly is they kind of touched upon it very very briefly in uh, the you know this is our new exciting tool video but if I just click grow 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 just until it gets to there and then control select by edge that way I've got all my edges here now if I come down into my chamfer tool uh, there we go just find my chamfer right so the thing you'll notice straight away is our chamfers look so much better than they used to like in the old days so I'm going to just increase my segments um, maybe to two I think anything more than that will be a bit too much and I can just reduce my amount okay and I'll keep the mitering the way it is you'll notice obviously we can change that but it's not going to do anything because we're not in a corner but what I can do is I could put out an additional inset if I so needed to and that will add a border around it and also a border on the inside of these polygons so again be careful you don't get your crossover however it's a good way of kind of separating off your polygons and straightening everything out rather than ending that on that kind of pointy triangle there good old polygons so I think I'll just reduce the amount of my inset down to about there I don't want a very big one okay that works and I am going to just save this and call it panels one now remember this is entirely dependent on the scale you're working at but I tend to work a lot on um, Unreal Engine scale which is round about what uh, 100 units equals 100 centimeters so it's pretty easy anyway just to kind of show you, let's imagine I've got a spaceship all covered in things that need panelling, which happens far more often than I really let on. Uh, I've got the edges selected, so I'll go down here and find my chamfer. And rather than default, I'll have my panels. Just load that. There we go. And as you see, it's done the job for me. I did all those lovely panels. And as you see, it's done a pretty splendid job of it too. Nice and smooth there. Okay, no horrible artifacts. None of that other business that we don't really want. You can see we've got some tries going up in this corner here, but uh, to be honest, <coughs> I don't find it too much of a problem just putting a simple cut along there to stop it being quite so pinched if necessary. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Anyway, that was just my what do you think of 3ds Max 2020? And as that's the only feature I care about. Good work. It's a chamfering tool. It's just what I wanted. The ability to be able to chamfer stuff slightly differently to how I already chamfer stuff. That'll do me. Da -da -da.